India, where history, geography, culture, tradition, and heritage come together to create a legacy unlike any other. A legacy woven by the relentless spirit of its people. The next generation has come together to honor India's heritage. With 8100 brilliant minds from 2700 schools engaging in an enlightening quiz. This round was just the tip of the iceberg. 20 semi-finalists remain. The competition will intensify over four semi-finals and one grand finale. Only one team will emerge as India's champion. Hello, Namaskar, Khush Amdeed, Sat Sri Akal. Welcome to the History TV 18 CBSE Heritage India Quiz presented by Geetam University. <laughs> India's most prestigious school quiz is back. New schools, new teams and double the excitement. I am Ajay Punya, your host and quiz master for today. In semi-final one, we have five extraordinary schools of regional winners. Starting out as Team A is Delhi Public School from Patna. Team B is DAV Public School from Chennai. On Team C is Sant Atulanan from Varanasi. As Team D is Sai International School from Bhubaneswar. And the fifth team is Jain Bharti Mrigavati from Delhi. These teams will go through three rounds that will put their intellectual prowess to test and only one of them will advance to the national final. We'll begin with our first of three rounds. It is called Minute Rush. Five questions in a minute. You can pass without negatives. After five questions, if time remains, unanswered questions can be attempted. Each correct answer, five points. Three correct answers, five bonus points. Four correct answers, 10 bonus points. And all correct answers, 20 bonus points. There's no negative marking. DPS Patna, if you're ready, your time starts now. In which state will you find the lakes Laknavaram from the 13th century, Nallagandla near the state capital and Pocharam in a wildlife sanctuary? Pass. Pass. In the emblem of which state will you find a Samaidiya lamp surrounded by 16 lotus blossoms inspired by the royal seal of a 17th century king? Goa. That's incorrect. Mathiran Hill Railway or Kangra Valley Railway with a length of 164 kilometers. Which mountain railway is the longest narrow gauge line in India? Kangra. That is correct. The song Dilka Bhavar Kare Pukar from the Dev Anand and Nutan film Tere Ghar Ke Samne is the only Bollywood song to be filmed inside which UNESCO World Heritage Site? Pass. Seen on village homes of Odisha and dedicated to the deity Idital. What tribal art form is visually similar to Warli paintings and is an anagram of Asura? Chetapad. That's not the answer. You've only given me one answer correct, DPS Patna. That means you get five points. To our next team, that's DAV Public School from Chennai. Your time starts now. In which state will you find the rivers Chautang, Dangri, Markand, Indori and Som? Assam is incorrect. In the emblem of which state will you find the Puna Gatak at the hub of Dhamma Chakka, embellished with a ring of three ratnas alternating with pinnate leaves and precious stones? Pass. Bombay, Baroda and Central Indian Railway or Great Indian Peninsula Railway. Which company operated India's first passenger rail journey on 16 April 1853? Bombay is incorrect. In the list of 42 UNESCO World Heritage Sites in India are 34 cultural, 7 natural and 1 of the mixed type. Inscribed in 2016, which is the only mixed heritage site in the list? Pass. Deriving its name from Portuguese for theatre, which Goan theatre form and anagram of Tait is divided into acts called Porde? Pass. And your time is up. Unfortunately, no answers, no points to DAV, but still a long way to go in this quiz to Santotulanand from Varanasi. Your time starts now. 
Which state has three major glaciers? Lonak, Ratong and Zemu. Pass. Introduced in 2020 in the new emblem of which state will you see a series of concentric rings with elephants in the outside ring, palash flowers in the middle ring and people in the inside ring? Pass. Kundal Valley Railway or Patiala State Monorail Trainways. What was India's first monorail system built in 1902? Patiala Monorail. Is incorrect. Which UNESCO World Heritage Site in India is shared with Argentina, Belgium, France, Germany, Switzerland and Japan and is thus the only transnational entry in the list? Pass. Seen on temples in the Konkani region, the Kavi art form gets its name from the red pigment derived from what anagram of literate? Pass. I'll go back to the first one. Which state has three major glaciers, Lonak, Ratong and Zemu? Uttarakhand. Incorrect. I'm afraid, Sant Atul Anand, you got none correct. You get no points against your name. To our next team, that's Sai International School from Bhubaneswar. Your time starts now. In which state will you find the islands Churao, Divar, Anjadiva, Tiswadi and Wanshi? Gujarat. Incorrect. Originally designed in 1916, in the emblem of which state will you see the confluence of two rivers, a pair of Matsya and a pair of bow and arrow? Is it Uttarakhand? Incorrect. Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj Terminus or Havda Railway Station? Designed by George Turnbull, which is the oldest surviving railway station complex in India. CSMT Chhatrapati. Incorrect. In the first group of natural sites inscribed in the UNESCO World Heritage Sites in India, there were three national parks. Kaziranga, Manas and which other? Nandadevi and uh, Valley of Flowers. Is incorrect. Playing a key role in the development of Pahadi paintings, which princely state in Himachal Pradesh was the cradle of Kangra paintings and is an anagram of Gruel? Gadwal. Incorrect. You've given me all answers, but none of them turned out to be correct. That's the third team in a row, Sai International School. No points, unfortunately. A final team in the order, that is Jain Bharti Mrigavati from Delhi. Your time starts now. In which state are the waterfalls Amritthara, Mandwa, Mendri Gumar, Tamda Gumar and Tirathgarh Falls? Madhya Pradesh. Incorrect. Adopted in 2022, in the emblem of which state do you see three mountain peaks partially hidden by clouds, a Vangala drum and Rikchi dock and Paila beaded necklaces? Pass. Mumbai Suburban Railway or Kolkata Suburban Railway? With train numbers starting with three, which suburban railway network is India's largest by number of stations and track length? Mumbai. Incorrect. What anagram of goat is a Rajasthani embroidery with zari ribbon or lace sewn on the edges of dupattas, turban edges and ghagras? Gota. That is correct. The first sites to be listed in India in the UNESCO World Heritage Sites were inscribed in 1983. All four of them were from two states, Uttar Pradesh and which other state? Pass. And your time is up. You gave me one correct answer, which means Jain Bharti Mrigavati, you get five points. Well, that was a fury round. Let's see how our contestants are placed on the scoreboard. It is time to up the stakes with our next round. It's called Double Connection. Five questions, each with two answers on the buzzer. End of the first answer is the start of the second answer. Say double to answer both questions or default to answer any one. Double and correct, 15 points. Double and both incorrect, minus 10 points. Double and only one correct, 5 points. Default for 10 points if correct, minus 5 points if incorrect. Second answer, when available, plus or minus 5 points. We'll start with our first set of two questions on your screen now. Vinay Patrika by Tulsi Das, Chaap Tilak by Amir Khusro and Sur Sagar by Sur Das were all written in the language X of Northern India. On the other side, on December 3, the Lawyer Community of India celebrates Advocates Day. It marks the birth anniversary of Y, who was also elected as the President of the Constituent Assembly. 
on the buzzer is team Varnasi. Default or double? Double. X is Braj. X is Braj. And Y is Rajendra Prasad. Is lovely, absolutely. That's very, very well done there, Braj. And Dr. Rajendra Prasad. Those were the two answers. 15 points to Sant Atul Anand. Question number two. Gandhi, Rana Pratap and Jawahar all appear in the names of the dams built on X, a tributary of Yamuna. The other one, Narayan Shripad Rajhans got his nickname when Lokmanya Tilak referred to him as a young member of a class of celestial musicians and singers. On the buzzer, is team from Varnasi, team C. Default or double? Default. Default. X. X. Chambal. Chambal is correct. That's 10 points to Sant Atul Anand. Now, for five points, it is DAV Public School from Chennai. Bal Gandharva. Bal Gandharva, absolutely. That's well done. Appreciation from your neighbors as well. That's five points, DAV. Chennai and 10 points to Sant Atul Anand from Varnasi. To our third question. In 1925, Rabindranath Tagore wrote The Cult of the X, emphasizing the demerits of relying on X to rejuvenate the masses during the independence move. The other one, the image depicts the scene of the capture of the wild bull from Y, a 39,000 line poem penned by Metei poet Hijam Angangal. On the buzzer is Jain Bharti Mrigavati from Delhi. Default or double? Default. Default. X or Y? X. X is? Hinsa. Is incorrect. That's a minus five, Jain Bharti Mrigavati. Anybody working out anything? Somebody has. And that's Sai International from Bhubaneswar. Default or double? Default. 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 X or Y? X. X is? English. Incorrect. Not English. That's a minus five, Sai International. The answers that I was looking for, Rabindranath Tagore wrote The Cult of the Charkha. And the image depicts the scene of the capture of the wild bull from Khamba Toibi. Question number four. Makbaro mein hai European architecture se inspired French windows. Gothic Mabulwa. Saathi, in mein hai Indo-Islamic architecture se inspired columns or floral inlaid designs. Built in the late 19th century, these mausoleums were built in memory of a Nawab and his minister of which princely state? That's X. The other one, seen on the reverse of an old 10 rupee note, this is the Patamar, a type of an Indian blank. That's for four letters. On the buzzer is Sant Atul Anand, default or double? Default. Default, X or Y? X. Is? Junagadh. Is correct. That's the answer. It's very good. That's 10 points. Anybody else wants to collect the five points? The answer that I was looking for, it's a type of a boat, a vessel, and it's called the Indian Dhow. That's D-H-O-W. No points uh, for the second bit. To the final question for this round. To dance by spinning on one foot came naturally to Tarangini Mitra. Her skill was noted by many when she hit the TV screens in the 1980s. On what packaging would you see her pirouetting? That's one answer. The other one, also called Satra, the oldest centre of traditional performing arts in Y, was founded by Sankar Dev in the 15th century. At present, there are 22 such Satras. In what largest of its kind geographical entity do you find these Satras? On the buzzer, again this time, is team from Varnasi, team C, default or double? Sir, default. Default. X or Y? Sir, X. X is? Nirma. Is lovely. It is indeed Nirma. That's well done. And perhaps for five points, we'll have DPS Patna giving us the right answer. Um, Majuli. The entity there being the island, that is indeed correct. So that's five points there to DPS Patna. And that is the end of round number two. Let's see. Which school is dominating the scoreboard? The 
the race to the final begins with our final round. It's called Select and Score. First leg starts with lowest scoring team choosing from nine topics. Incorrect answer gets passed on the buzzer. Second leg, top two teams compete from remaining four topics. Correct answer, 10 points. Incorrect answer, no negative points. Correct answer on buzzer, 10 points. Incorrect answer on buzzer, minus five points. We'll start this round with Team D, Sai International. These are your topics. Religious scripture. Religious scripture. Others on the buzzer. Dating back to the 17th century, the opening verse of a religious scripture is a 12-word statement whose middle segment can be translated as true name, the creator, without fear, without hate, timeless in form, beyond birth, self-existent. What are its first two words? Vaheguru da Khalsa, Vaheguru di Fateh. That's not the answer, it's not Vaheguru. So that's no negatives though, Sai International. Jain Bharti Mrigavati. Ek Omkar. Ek Omkar, absolutely, that is indeed correct. Next up is also going to be Jain Bharti Mrigavati. So what topic would you like? Sir, British Land Revenue. Here it is on your screen, others on the buzzer. The British introduced three land revenue systems from 1793 to 1822. Ryotwari, Mahalwari and the permanent settlement. The latter system abolished the Pargana system and instead made who the absolute owner of rural lands. Your answer is? The Sai International waiting. Sir, peasants. Peasants. As the absolute owner of rural lands, I'm afraid that's not the answer. There's no negative for you, Jan Bharti. I'll pass it to Sai International. Zamindars. Zamindars, absolutely. Sai International gets you 10 points in the process. To the next team. And that is going to be TAV Public School from Chennai. Temple Architecture. Here's your question. There are many theories about the mysterious presence of a certain western clothing and bowler hat wearing likely European figure in which 11th century temple? Bhadishwara temple. From Tanjore is perfect. That is indeed the answer. That's very well done. Gets you 10 points. It is indeed the Bhadishwara temple. Next question is now going to be for DPS Patna. And they will decide. Illustrious family. My question for you. These illustrations are of the grandfather and the father of the writer of a translated book titled Three Blanks, where the blank is the shared surname of the father, grandfather and the writer. Who's the writer and also its illustrator and arguably the most famous of the three? Sai International seems to be interested. Rabindranath Tagore. That's not the answer, but there's no negative DPS. Patna, question goes to Sai International Bhubaneswar. Thakurs. That is incorrect. Sai International gets you a minus five as a result. This is three rays and Satyajit Ray. His grandfather, Upendra Kishore, and father, Sukumar Ray. All right, final question for Santa Tulanan. Connect. What is indicated by this map? The one is corresponding to the one, the two is corresponding to the two, the three is corresponding to the three. It, these are the type of cloth worn by the workers. Clothes worn by workers in different parts of the country. That's not the right answer, Santatulanand Varanasi, but there's no negative. Anybody else would like to take it on the buzzer? That's DAV from Chennai. Western Ghats. It's not the answer, unfortunately, Chennai. I'll have to give you a minus five for that. From north to south, that's Jodhpur's, then the Dungarees, and Calico. And with your expression, I'm guessing you figured it out. These are all places which have give names to various items of clothing. And that brings us to the end of the first leg. We'll move on to the second leg. And we're only now playing with DPS Patna and Sant Atulanan. DPS Patna, you'll get to pick first. What topic do you want? RTI Act. 
here's your question. In 2020, the Delhi High Court put on hold a Central Information Commission order directing the Assam Rifles to provide the details sought by an RTI applicant. The reason they cited was Section 24 of the RTI Act. What is the section about? Is there something about no information to be shared which affects national security? More or less in the vicinity, I will give that to you. It is exempting intelligence and security organizations. That's well done. DPS Patna getting this one right gets you 10 points. And for the final question of this semi-final, they're happy already, but still, we will bowl the final ball. Which one would you like? A googly, a bouncer? 19th century technology. Here's your question. Weighing over 500 kgs and needing a dozen men to carry it. This early 19th century theodolite was used by William Lambton and colleagues for what great project? It's a great trigonometric survey of India. Is correct. The great trigonometrical survey undertaken by the East India Company. That was a great answer by Sant Atul Anand. And that brings us to the end of this semi-final. Let's take a look at the scoreboard and see which school advances to the national final. Winning this quiz convincingly is the team from Sant Atul Anand with a score of 55. Congratulations to the team from Varnasi. Your hard work has paid off and we will see you in the national finals. As for the other teams, fret not as your abundant knowledge will only pave the path towards a bright future. This round was just the tip of the iceberg. Keep learning and see you at the next semi-final.